I'm Joël André Anomé Arissou. I was born actually in Madagascar, in Antananarivo. I'm an artist, which is not always uh, easy to define. So first of all, it's important actually to work with a museum and uh, it's, it's always a challenge to, to, to collaborate actually with the museum. But like at the Zaid Smoka, it's more important because we are actually, you know, in the continent and we are talking about, you know, Africa everywhere. But I think it's more important to talk and to work in Africa, in the continent. And for me, it's very important, like to have the, actually, to, to, to have this action here like uh, here and not just talking about you know the location from somewhere or talking about or, uh, the continent from somewhere or defending the continent from somewhere. I think it's important to to do things like here. Uh, the atrium is amazing. It's like it's, it's huge uh, really like it's, uh, it's incredible. My first impression was, how can I do something here? Um, so I, I had a kind of uh, love and hate, but nothing bad uh, about this. But it's just like, it's a real question. I don't know exactly how to actually to challenge the space, because it's going to be a challenge actually to, to, to make something, you know, with this dimension, also with the, the history behind actually the, the building uh, here. And then the project is going to be a discussion actually with the space, the discussion with the architecture, but beyond all, a discussion with the world. I don't want to talk only about poetry. Um, I prefer to talk about words. Uh, words are important uh, to say something, sometimes to explain, sometimes to express the emotions and also to create a discussion between a person and a person, uh, context and context, or cities and cities, or continent and continents. So I think words are important and for me words are most of the time the starting point of one project. For me there is no difference actually you know between the space or between the installations and, and, and the words because they are like uh, supporting each other. As I told you, the words can be actually the starting point of one huge installation and uh, the installation can be also the, the second part actually of the installation. You know, sometimes when I'm doing, for example, those kind of a black, huge paper installation, it's very, it's very mysterious pieces. So when you are putting actually some words next to it, I think for the audience it's also better, you know. As I said before, you know, I'm in love with the words, so I think it's also important to talk about the different languages. You know, I'm from Madagascar, so I'm speaking Malagasy, but I also I was raised, you know, in French. So starting from that point, I think there is already a kind of a mix of, uh, of that. So it's important actually to, to, yeah, it's important to have different languages to express actually different emotions. For me, black actually is, 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 is it's, it's color, and it's not a non-color. Because to make black or to find black, actually, you have to use like thousands of colors. 
to find the right black or to have it like more intense or to have different shades of black, you need actually a lot of colors and you, you have to work a lot on it. So I, I really like this idea. The second thing about black is, actually, is also like, it's always a big question. As I said before, is it a color or is it a non-color? It's also interesting that, uh, for example, uh, if you, in some culture, some people are dressed in black and it becomes very dramatic. On, on the other side of the ocean, some people are, when they are dressed in black, they are very elegant. So I like this kind of a duality of the color or non-color. And the last thing is, and I think it's kind of something like more political, that we can talk about actually, you know, about some actions. We also can talk about some melancholic thing, like dramatic things. And we can also talk about actually, you know, the color skin and beyond. You know, I'm not working. <laughs> no, well, of course I'm working. But the work is an exercise uh, of the materialization of those emotions. The most, I think it's important to talk about emotion because we all are emotional. We are all sentimental. We are all fragile. We are all having this. And it doesn't matter if you are in Paris, if you are in Cape Town, if you are in New York, or you are in Abidjan, or you are in Japan, in Tokyo, it doesn't matter. We are we are all emotional. So I like this idea that we are sharing actually the same thing, the same statement, the same idea. Then the level of the emotions are a little bit different sometimes because it depends on the context. So it's, all, it's, it's the same thing as the black, like uh, it's, it's the same thing, but depends actually, you know, on the different elements. against the concrete, you know, the concrete from the museum. It was important actually to find something very fragile next to it. So I decided to use paper. So, you know, contradiction is also part of the, of the process, you know, of the decision. So if you are putting me concrete, next to it I will put paper. If I have to work with, if, if, I'm, if there is a lot of water next to it, maybe it's going to be sound next to it. So doubt, contradiction, uh, emotion. I'm really proud like, to actually to, to produce something and to, to make something here. And, uh, and uh, it's also an amazing energy and uh, I hope it's going to be okay. Addis Abeba. Antananarivo. Ouagadougou. Brazzaville. Yeah.